Hi, are you looking to gain more power on your serve? And in today's lesson, we're going to review one of my students' serves and show you how you can get more power and more control on your serve. And if you stick around to the end, we have a free gift for you that's going to help you really understand the key elements of the serve and much, much more. So as you can see, Randy has a tendency to kick his right leg out to the right as he's playing the swing to the ball. And the reason is that it's just a counterbalance move that's involuntary because he's falling to the left. So it's just, a, it's just a, obviously it's a, it's a glaring imbalance that we want to fix. And the sequence of exercises we're going to do here are really going to resolve this problem. So when a student has problems with timing the leg drive and the balance associated with the leg drive, what I do is take the legs out and rebuild the process. So what I'm going to have Randy do first is just simply do a step through. So when he serves, being a right-hander, he's just simply going to pivot over the left foot and step through on the right. And that will be the conclusion of the serve. So he'll play the ball and he'll step through. So how's that feel? Feels pretty good. Does that feel pretty good? Yeah. See, yeah. How, see how easy that is? So a lot less effort. He's staying in alignment with his target, his target line, and he's just letting the, the, the energy of the swing pull the right leg through. And you know what? That's actually where servers played in the olden days before you could jump in tennis. Everyone stepped through the serve. Nobody jumped. And that's kind of what, how the serves were played back in the 50s and 60s and even in the, in the early 70s. So the first thing I have Randy do is, is work on just the step through footwork without any leg drive and do that repeatedly until he starts to feel as though his energy is moving in the direction he's playing the ball. And I think that Randy would agree that he discovered a better sense of balance and better control on the serve. Quite surprisingly, he got quite a bit of power without using his legs at this point in time. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to work on developing the right motion, the complete motion, but we're going to do it without the ball. And I love for my students to work on the choreography of the serve and rehearse the serve without the ball to build the right movements. And then we'll place the movement back into the ball later on. So that's the next phase we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to start to develop and build the leg drive back in gradually through this process without the ball. So we're going to begin by having Randy do rehearsals without the ball. Everything from the ritual, the setup, everything. But we're going to start to add in the leg drive. Go ahead. Yeah, do, do your routine. Do your whole routine. And serve. And really make, what we want to do is we really want to make the serve feel real. So we're really simulating actually playing the ball. So it's a true rehearsal. And what I find is that when students cannot rehearse without the ball, it usually tells me that they don't understand the movement with the ball. So in general, you're kind of guessing. Okay, and instead of guessing what we're trying to do, I want you to be purposeful on the serve. So play a full movement, like you're really playing, okay? Okay, even more assertive than that. Good. Imagine him playing against Rafael Nadal right now, and he wants to ace Rafael Nadal. Show me the movement. Better. You know, it's interesting. His right foot's going forward now. So you're landing on your left foot. You're not falling off to the left. And the right foot yeah. is coming forward on a straight line towards the target. Are you thinking about that or is it just happening? It's happening? Interesting, huh? So that's much, much better. So I think in reality, when the ball's not in play, he actually maintains the proper alignment and the proper balance. So now let's see what happens with the ball. Just play the ball. Okay. Here we go. Much better, huh? Yeah. Wow. Better. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Much better. More balance, yeah. Yeah, more sure. balance. Sure. More balance. The right leg kicked out a little bit, but I don't think that's uncommon because 
the ball's up above his head and there's going to be a little bit of a counterbalance for the movements of the ball. But at the end of the day, the momentum was shifting forward. Isn't that amazing how, how you're able yeah. to do that? So in one simple step, one exercise, taking the legs out and just doing the step through, you were able to actually get that in there. Isn't that yeah. amazing? Yeah. Right? Absolutely. Yeah. So now that we have the balance and the timing of the leg drive really in sync, we're going to add the trailing footwork. And this is a key component of your serve and also so important to practice your serve doing this because it's exactly what you're going to do in a match. So the trailing footwork is the footwork that evolves from the energy of the serve and gets Randy prepared to receive the return of serve back. So what it will look like is I will, I will spring up and land on my left foot, land on my right, push back, and go here into my split step. Okay? There's a couple of different ways. Oftentimes you'll see the ATP players, they'll land on the left foot and then they'll just bounce. For me, I, I like the left-right combination. It gives me a better sense of rhythm and balance to respond to the return to. So now play a natural serve and try to add that trailing footwork in and let's just see what happens naturally for you, okay? Okay, yeah, good, try it again. Good, good, good. So sometimes just the intention of adding that trailing footwork on actually delivers more energy into the serve itself because it's the energy into the serve that makes the trailing footwork feel like a natural part of the serve. How's that feel? Last one was crazy. Good, huh? Good, yeah. Good. So lots of improvements in balance, in timing of the leg drive, and then a trailing or finishing footwork that enables Randy to be ready for Rafa's return, if it comes back. <laughs> so as a quick recap, we went through a progression of drills, just a couple of drills to really realign the, the balance and the leg drive on the serve. And we just simplified the process by taking the legs out first and just working on directing all the energy towards the target area. And then it was so easy for Randy to find the movement once he re-engaged the legs. I hope you really enjoyed and benefited from this lesson today. Please give us a like, subscribe to our YouTube channel if you've not done so already, and we welcome your comments below. If you have an idea for a video you'd like us to produce, please let us know and we'll definitely do that for you. And also, we have a free gift for you. Just hit the link in the description down below and you'll get our free guide to the key fundamentals of not only the serve, fundamentals you really want to learn to build a professional quality serve, but also every stroke in the game. And all of those videos and lessons are included in our free lesson library on our website. And when you're at our website, take a look around. We've got some additional free lessons. We also have a membership program and we have a world-renowned serve course. And we look forward to helping you with your building your tennis game and we'll see you in the next video.